Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Emil, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking you through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I protect my application from DDoS attacks and other web attacks with Google Cloud Armor? Google Cloud Armor is the web application firewall and DDoS mitigation service able to provide protection from L3, L4 volumetric and protocol-based DDoS attacks, as well as L7 protection and filtering for workloads deployed on GCP, on-prem, or with other infrastructure providers. Cloud Armor is deeply integrated with the global load balancing infrastructure and is able to inspect and filter incoming requests after SSL termination has occurred. As a web application firewall, Cloud Armor contains pre-configured rules to help mitigate the risk from the most common attacks and vulnerability exploit attempts. Users have access to real-time telemetry in the form of logs sent to cloud logging containing Cloud Armor's decisions on a per-request basis, a monitoring dashboard that gives granular views of allowed, denied, or preview traffic, as well as correlated WAF security findings sent to the Cloud Security Command Center. To get started, we're first going to want to deploy the external HTTPS load balancer in front of our application. You can do so by navigating to Network Services Load Balancing in your Cloud Console and clicking Create Load Balancer. Click Start Configuration for HTTPS Load Balancing, select From the Internet, and click Continue. We're going to name this load balancer example LB. Now you will have to configure the backend, host rules, and front end configuration for the GCLB. For backend configuration, we'll select an existing backend service containing my protected workload. Next, host and path rules allow you to specify advanced routing rules to proxy requests to different backends based on the requested URL or hostname. For now, we'll choose simple routing. After that, we will configure the front end, choosing HTTP as the protocol and leaving all other settings as default. If you wanted to select HTTPS as the protocol, here is where you would upload your own SSL certificates or use Google Managed Certs. Finally, we create, click the Create button to create the load balancer. With your application residing behind the HTTPS LB, you will be automatically protected from the L3, L4 volumetric and protocol-based DDoS attacks. Now, we will configure a CloudArmor security policy to provide Layer 7 protection for our application. We do this by first navigating to Network Security Cloud Armor in the Cloud Console. We'll want to create a new security policy by clicking Create Policy. Next, we'll name the policy, configure the default action of the policy to deny, and select the appropriate response code. After that, we will create rules within this policy by expanding Add More Rules and clicking Add Rule. The first rule we'll create is a rule to block SQL injection attacks. After selecting Advanced Mode, you are able to write a rule using the Cloud Armor rules language called Cell Common Expression Language. With the Evaluate Preconfigured Expression Helper function, we are able to invoke pre-configured expression sets, including the pre-configured WAF rules, as well as named IP lists. This rule will now match on incoming traffic that contains an SQL injection attack. Next, we select the action to take in the event of a request satisfying the match condition. In this case, my desired action is deny, and I want to return a 403 HTTP response code. Preview mode is a logging only mode that will generate a log when the rule matches, but the associated action won't be taken. In this case, I will not enable preview mode, 
but it is a good idea to do so in production to validate the rule's impact before enabling it on your production traffic. Finally, we specify a priority for the rule. Rules are evaluated in priority order from lowest to highest, with the default rule being evaluated last. In this policy, I only want to accept user traffic from Singapore, the United Kingdom, and Mexico. Since the default action of the policy is deny, I will create an allow rule that matches on those geographies. We do so by checking if the origin region code matches my desired geographies. The OR operator allows us to combine several region code checks into one rule. Now that we have created some rules in our policy, it's time to attach it to one or more backend services. In order to do so, we click Next Step and then the Add Target button. I select the target backend service that I wish to protect with the security policy. Now, all traffic destined to this backend service will be evaluated against this CloudArmor security policy before being proxied to the backend. Lastly, we click Create Policy to save and propagate this policy across Google's Global Edge. We have now successfully deployed Cloud Armor and the HTTPS load balancer in front of our demo application. The application is now protected from volumetric and protocol based DDoS attacks while well-formed Layer 7 traffic will have to conform to the security policy we have specified in order to reach my application. We can now switch over to the Network Security Policies dashboard under Cloud Monitoring to see real-time metrics of my application broken down by policy, backend service, as well as by action taken. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud Experts.